It's your brother, Larry Adeneko, welcoming you to the Really, Really Knowing God channel and bringing you vital enrichment in the knowledge of God. All powered by the Pastor Larry Adeneko Center for Education, the PLACE. This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone upon the crown of Jesus. We are sharing truth this morning on spiritual security lights, coming from Romans chapter 13, verses 11 and 12 of our chapter. A little prayer, and then we go right into it this morning. Father God, we bless your great name. Thank you for your goodness to us here, Almighty God. Be glorified. We ask, O oh God, as we go into this, let there be utterance, let there be hearing, let there be retention and performance of that which is heard. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Okay. <clears throat> Romans 13, 11. And do this, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Okay. It says, and do this. You remember that he had said a number of things before that we, we said, you know, all this do not owe anybody any moral debt. Uh, make sure that uh, you fulfill the, the law of love, you know, which is the encapsulation of the entire law and all those things. He has said all that before. You remember that we shared all that before. He says, now, now do this because of all these things that we have said, put them all in place. Okay. Knowing that. I mean, knowing the time, that's the first one, appreciating what time it is or um, where we are on the timeline of the things of God, where we are on the, um, in the scheme of the things of God, knowing the time. And now this is very, very important to, to, know, to know the times. Now, put, do, do all this, put all these things in place, knowing the time. You know, remember the Bible says, men of, men of Isaacah, they understood the times. You know, you remember that. Yeah, it's important to understand the times, to know the time, to see, you know, this is the season we are in now. And this particular season, if you look at what God has laid out, you know, this is where we are in that timeline, knowing the time. It's important for a child of God to at least be people or be somebody like that. Let's go on. He says that, uh, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. First of all, knowing the time. And then he went on to describe, you know, the character of the time at this point in, you know, at that particular point in time. <clears throat> But it is high time to awake out of sleep because our salvation is nearer now. Yeah. So that's what he's saying. Well, but there's something we should look about there. I mean, talk about that. Talk about awaking out of sleep. What's the meaning of that? Does it mean that some Christians sleep or that the, that church was asleep or that, you know, I say it's time to awake out of sleep. That was somebody was sleeping. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And says the time now is the time we need to, um, you know, get up, uh, awake out of our sleep. Sleep is something that typically happens in the night. Sleep uh, can depict or describe what looks like inactivity, can describe what looks like, um, um, yeah, inactivity, when nothing is happening, when all hands are down, all the faculties are, you know, kind of... Uh, put in a suspended kind of uh, uh, state and all that. Yeah, it happens. That's what happens physically. Now, it seems to be, uh, it's implying that spiritually too, people sleep. You remember that uh, parable of Jesus Christ? Somebody, you know, uh, sowed uh, wheat and somebody, he says, while men slept, you know, some enemy came in and planted tears there. Yes, we do sleep. We do go into times when we are not active, when all our guards are down, when all our faculties are down. Uh, we do have times when um, spiritually we are, we are sleeping. We are not um, up and about. We are not up and doing in the things of the spirit. So it says it's time to awake out of all that um, time of um, uh, inactivity and all you know time of um, slowness and time of um, um, you know I don't know laxity yeah and all that get out of all that now it is time for that now and he gave a reason 
It says, because our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. Now, you remember that I keep saying here that in the Bible, there are three forms of salvation. That's the one you get born again. Okay, that is that instantaneous salvation you got born again. Then there's the progressive one in that you are, make, you are becoming more and more like Jesus as time goes on. And finally, there's a final one, which is like the optic. Now, that's the one being referred to here. It says, our salvation is near. Speaking to people who are already saved. I hope somebody gets it this morning. Yeah. So, uh, at times the Bible, when it talks about salvation, you need to understand that there that, are that three uh, forms of it in the New Testament especially. So, that our time of our salvation, our time of our uptake, time when we will be taken out of this um, wicked world, <laughs> the time when we are going to, um, you know, have it all according to our dreams with the Lord Jesus forever, you know, or with God forever and all that. That time is nearer than when we first believed. That's what he's saying. He says now, knowing that we are getting nearer and nearer the time when we are going to be uptaken, that's the way you should conduct yourself. So that's why he says, do this. All I've been saying, all we've been sharing here, do put all those things in place. Recognizing the time, first of all. And what time is it? It's time for us to wake out of sleep, out of slumber, out of laxity, out of laziness, out of... Um, uh, inactivity out of docility you know at times you know get out of all of that the reason because our salvation is actually nearer than when we first believed we went on to say for the night is fast spent and the day is at hand okay again i mentioned something about that sleeping often happens in the night that's why it says awake out of sleep because the night is fast spent the day is at hand in other words um, it's time to get up just like we sleep through the night and in sometime very early in the morning just before the break of, break of day we all get up you know we all rise up and set about our day yeah he said it's time to actually get up from your your, your laxity from your uh, slowness from your inactivity from your um, yeah sleep <laughs> you know get up from that and get active again because you see this night is fat is gone we have taken too much time you know in this particular state it is time to get up so the night you know happens you know and um, at times some people like to use it as a metaphor to show when things are poor for you when the uh, the light is not so much there you know and all that some people use it at, at times at that way yes again there are times when yeah it's a night season for us but still we need to get out of it and move on into the next phase of our life the, the time of light that is coming praise god so he goes on to say let us cast off the night is fast when the days are therefore let us cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor of life there are certain things that are works of darkness it is in the night you do those things you know for example you find out that uh, uh, thieves and robbers they often come at night because there's the darkness giving them some form of cover uh, people that uh, coup plotters they typically do coup plotting operate in the night uh, some people who uh, uh, you know, commercial sex workers, for example, they often do their stuff in the night. There are a number of things that happen in the night under the cover of darkness. So he says we should cast off the works of darkness. In other words, it is possible for a Christian to allow himself to slip into a state where the works of darkness are happening. You are doing these things secretly. You are doing these things nobody knows about it. You know, and all that. Cast all those things off. You know, at times a bit of dishonesty when nobody is there. You just in your place of work. Nobody else know, knows that you are a Christian there. Okay, and um, you know you are you are you are a married man, a Christian child of God, married woman, Christian child of God. But you are doing a couple of you know private practices here and there. That is not of the, that is not something of light. Not something you can boldly talk about. The Bible says it's time to cast all those things off. You know, and move into the day. And then in Moody said, let us put on the armor of light. In other words, light is an armor. It's good to know this, honestly. Light is an armor. An armor is something you use to cover up, you know, to use to arm yourself to get ready, not only for defensive actually, all the time, but at times some armors actually for offensive purposes. Light is an armor. Um, when there is light, you know, in the, in the when the place is well lit, 
it makes it more difficult for robbers or you know thieves that come in the night because it looks like day yes let your life your your life be full of the light of god hallelujah and then the enemy will not be able to strike and do stuff around you that's one two he says that uh, at times you know we also said you said knowledge is light actually uh david says stuff like that in psalm 119 you know that at the entrance of your word it brings light and understanding to the simple yes it's an ammo when you have knowledge it's an ammo when you have knowledge it's a weapon both of defense and of attack it's because jesus had knowledge that was able to defend himself from all the uh, tricks of the devil during the temptation it's because uh, the, the 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 word of god is the sword of the spirit that's offensive so at times it's defensive at times it's offensive but knowledge is important for you the light of the word of god the light of the presence of god the life that come from the from the life of jesus he says in him was life and the life was the light of man so it is important for you to dwell upon that meditate upon that imbibe that let it be a push a part of you okay so that your light he says that if your eye is evil your whole body will be full of darkness but if your eye is sound your whole body will be full of light that's what jesus said so you do need this light that is an ammo and i pray that uh, the spirit of god will say some more to us in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ i think it's okay uh this morning we have to uh realize that it's time to awake out of sleep that the night is fast spent, that our salvation is nearer than when we first believe night is fast spent there is a plan we should cast off the works of darkness put on the armor of light as you go into your day i trust that you're going to have a fantastic day in the mighty name of jesus christ please remember to help us to grow this channel please tell others about it share 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 and engage with us in comments the lord bless you this morning thank you